Hey, what's up, y'all? This Goshi Dude here, and this is my review on the Hero Factory next figure from the uh, Hero Factory 4.0 uh, Breakout series. So, pretty cool figure. Um, oh, technology. He looks more like a uh, a scout uh, kind of armor to me. He has um, these little scopes, antennas on him. Um, this Nago harpoon gun, which is a shoulder antenna, really nice, nice touch up with that. He, they all have the same basic gun. I don't know if this is his original ball that came with it. Uh, I don't know where his is right now. So I'm just using this as an example. It shoots. Pretty nice. Just shot everywhere. So yeah. Um, it's got this cool um, arm piece. Which uh, does no hand, but in this show, they'll probably mold it in hand right here, but, you know, that's how it connects and all that. And he has his, uh, connected tube, kind of, uh, the, uh, the Black Phantoms, uh, connected tubes, pretty much like that. And it connects to, um, this piece right here, which looks like a, um, a saber of some sort. So, that's pretty cool. Like, deactivated. Just take that off. It makes it like he's deactivated. And then activate. Bam! Got a laser or a sword or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So like the body design on that. Articulation. Head is on a bar joint. Go all the way around. Stuff like that. Arm can only go up this high. And elbow can go back and forth. Arm is kind of limited because of the hose. Uh, this arm can go out this much. Go all the way around. Bend at the elbow, back and front, and ball joint at wrist. Uh, no waist articulation. Hips can go up this high, bend at the knee, and the ankle is on the ball joint. So yeah, and he does have the, um, the cuff and the chains. So you can cuff the villains, so that's pretty cool. So you got that. Bam! So yeah, that's my review on Nex from the Hero Factory 4.0 series. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay, stay tuned for more awesome reviews from Ghost Shoot Dude. And I'll see you guys next time.